should I should introduce it some other way. Oh, hi there. What day is it you ask? Thursday. <laughs> Camera, I can't believe you didn't know that. Anyway, um, today was a good day because it was all rainy outside and that was exciting. Although I did change my shirts like five billion times today until I decided on this one. But um, even though I um, haven't done anything like especially exciting, I have had a pretty eventful week starting with yesterday I suppose. Because I mean I put up my last video on Sunday, there really hasn't been that much time. Anyway, so yesterday I thought I had to go to work, so I got a bit like nine. Okay. So then I come back and I like force myself to take a shower like right after I get back and um, blow dry my hair and everything and I go to work and they're like, isn't Melissa working today? And I was like, maybe? So I checked the schedule and I wasn't even supposed to work. So they're like, well you can pick up your check. I was like, okay, <laughs> bye. I'm leaving now. Also, let's see here, last night I made rice pudding. That was really yummy. But um, it was late, so we were going to go find Edie to give her some cat treats before we went to bed. So we hadn't seen her in a while, but we figured she was just outside or something. So we looked, and she wasn't there. And then we looked like all over the entire rest of the house. She also wasn't there. We were like, okay, where's Edie? So we walked around for a really long time being like, Edie, do you want some treats, sweetheart? Do you want to come out, uh, but we couldn't find her. We even looked everywhere, like under all the beds and everything. And finally, mom was like, "I hope I didn't lock her in the closet." And then there's this closet in the, in the utility room, which is like completely blocked by recyclables and everything. And my mom was in there earlier because I needed something, like a special dish, for my rice pudding. And she was in there. She was locked in the closet. Oh, Edie. And then I had a really weird dream. Okay, so. Um, we were at some sort of camp or something, and um, we were about to leave, and I knew that, so I was like, well, I need to find a bathroom so I can pee. But then, um, th they were leaving, like, right then, so I couldn't do it, so I, was, I told the bus driver, I was like, I kind of have to pee, can we stop somewhere? So she was like, fine. So we drove past a bunch of porta potties and I was like, no, nuh-uh. Can we go to a normal building? They're like, oh, fine. So we went to this building, and it was kind of weird. And so this bus had like a thousand people on it. It was a very large bus. <laughs> and so little of me hopped off the bus, and I went into this huge like mansion place. So anyway, I, I got out, and I went into their bathroom, which looked like it was under construction or something. Something just thumped. It was a very scary place. So the door wouldn't even lock, and so I was like, okay, well... Might as well just get it over with. So I went in there, and the minute, um, like, I got in there and shut the door, some lady started to walk in on me. I swear, I hear all this thumping. The lady kept pushing on the door, and I kept being like, no, stay out. I have to use the bathroom. And she was like, oh, but I have to get in there. So then later, I go back with my friends, and, well, it was like me and Alex and, like, Chuck Bass from Gossip Girl, and we were looking in the window, and we saw puppies in there. And I was like, how did I not see the puppies before? It was an odd dream. Also, okay, I'm done. Yeah, I finished it, like, it was like Saturday night or something. I stayed up kind of late watching Case Closed. It was a movie. Sorry, this video isn't more interesting. Pshit! La limonade de du jour. I'm, I'm gonna go make myself some more rice pudding then. Alright, uh, I love you guys. And Kristen, I'll see you on Monday. Kara, I will see you on Tuesday. Alright, peace out. Okay, bye!